Here we have an antique uh, child's high chair and we're going to put a new seat in. Um, I've actually fixed it all up before. Um, it was all cracked around the front area here as you can see but um, it's nicely glued up and what we're going to do is show you how we can hand weave a new seat, the traditional method of uh, caning, um, individually laced through all these holes. What you're going to need first of all is um, uh, a good size cane. This one is two and a half mil um, rattan chair cane, and you can buy it at, at uh, any supplier. And you also need um, some golf tees. I've got a mixture of uh, wood and plastic golf tees in there, um, so you can hold the cane in place. Okay, before we get started, what you need to do is uh, soak the cane for about a couple of minutes, five ten minutes at tops, um, and so it becomes a lot more supple, easier to weave and you can stop and start as often as you like when you're starting this project as long as you uh, ensure that the cane is wet obviously if you've got cane in the seat partially done, soak that for a little while and then also the new strands you start weaving and then that way you're going to find it a lot easier to, to slide the cane through and um, it make a better job because eventually it, it dries out and uh, tightens up. Now there's a little tip here I want to show you. You won't be able to see this too well on the camera um, in the film, but there's little nodes, little barbs where the leaves come out from the uh, rattan. It actually grows that way, it's grow upwards of course, then the leaves come out of this area here. These little barbs catch on your finger or your finger now as you run through there. So it's imperative that when you start weaving, especially the last two areas, to run it so that it runs smooth against uh, the rest of the cane. Otherwise you're going to keep catching this uh, on your other parts of the weave and it will just cause a bit of a nightmare. In fact, it might even fray or split. So there's a little tip for you. Run your finger along the top and if it's nice and smooth, that's the direction you've got to weave. Okay, now let's get started. Okay, the very first step you want to do is to ensure that um, you keep a nice straight edge so from the front to the back so, you, so it's not sort of going over to the left or to the right just by your eye just make sure you've got a nice straight side there so you can see that's pretty straight you don't want to open that hole there it's going to look a bit silly so put your first part of the strand here have a little bit hanging down below here and golf tee in there make sure that's the shiny side of the cane up on top of course pass it through the hole that you think is dead straight and bring it up under the next to the right or left, whichever direction you want to take to. But I'm going to go to the right because I'm right handed, it makes it a little bit easier. Bring it up through the second hole and always ensure that uh, you've got it nice and fit fa or fairly tight. We pull it taut. I'm doing this with one hand holding the camera with the other, but bring it fairly tight. And then uh, when you want to stop, just put a little T in there, golf T in there, and that will, whoops, that will hold it in place if I can pick it up then like that and that will do so then you just keep on going through down to this hole run parallel under the next hole cross again and do that right away to the very end till you get to straight edge I'll show you that in a sec so here's the first part done you can see where I've kept it nice and parallel there's no more room for any more you don't need to put any more here um, so they're secured by the um, golf tees now I'm going to do is just carry on across the, the end here um, and uh, once we've got all this part in, uh, we'll go to stage two, step two. So stage one is done. All the um, strands from front to the back of the chair are in place. And uh, I've got a fair bit left over, so I've brought up the other hole here. Now what we're going to do is stage two, or step two, come across um, 90 degrees to the uh, first step. So as you can see, I've run the camera around, you're going to come across there and uh, weave through those holes and then come up the other hole next to it and then go back and forth so you've got a nice square pattern. So you can now see how we're forming a nice square pattern. The cane just sits straight over the top of the first stage and making sure it stays nice and parallel so you're following every other hole that goes round, every hole that goes round and we'll complete that to the very end here and um, there's also a strand parallel to that one now I can get one more in here as long as it's run parallel so you're obviously going to miss another couple of holes here um, so come up say from that hole there 
and run parallel to this strand and that should finish that bit off. Uh, there's a few more golf tees in here now that's um, showing because there's uh, some ends here that haven't tied off but you need to keep them in there anyway and then ensure that you keep this rattan wet as you're uh, weaving away. Okay having done uh, stage two now we're doing stage three and that's really the same as stage one. Um, I've come up through this little hole here and as you can see um, I'm going to run parallel to the first stage on top once again and keeping it to the right of the um, uh, first stage and I'm going to go underneath here and I'm going to go from left to right just to finish this little bit here off because I haven't got enough cane and then I'm going to start on the other area. So now we've uh, successfully done step three or stage three and all the parallel lines are done and stage four will be um, doing the same as step two or stage two. I'm getting them mixed up here but it doesn't really matter you get the gist of it all so now we're going to go from left to right and follow the um, the stage two one so it's run parallel but this one is a little bit different let me just uh, start the ball rolling but put a bit of cane in there, and then I'll show you uh, what I mean so for stage four I've come up out of this hole here and if you can see close enough I've gone under the first strand and over the second one and you do that to the next um, parallel running here too the under the first one and over the second one so can you see there's a nice little square pattern forming there I'll just do a couple of other strands so you can see see the uh, little square pattern forming along here so don't forget it's um, under over under over and over just keep on going and don't forget to keep the cane fairly uh, damp I use a little spray bottle here which uh, does the trick keep spraying a bit of water so it slides easier too and don't forget uh, the little tip I told you before with uh, having that uh, uh, running of the cane smoothly run your fingers through because as you start pulling this through it might catch on some of the cane and break so make sure it runs nice and smoothly you don't need to go right across in one go you can do it in stages and just gently pull as you can see and whilst it's wet it slides quite easily and form that nice and tight so we can get to the end here I've only really just done a few here make sure you don't get get the cane twisting or anything like that ensure that it stays nice and straight and keep a nice tight square pattern here so there you go so there's the beginning of stage th uh, four so um, just keep on doing that and I'm going to do a few more strands so you can see what it looks like so now you can see uh, starting to form a nice uh, square pattern there um, I'm just going to put this black fabric underneath so you can probably see it a lot easier there you go that's a lot better isn't it so um, that's what you got to achieve and um, keep the squares nice and, and close to one another and uh, keeping them all parallel see it's looking quite good now so I'm going to finish this off now and then I'll show you um, what it looks like once I've done the whole finish the stage four. So here you can see um, now I've finished the fourth stage so we've got a nice square sort of pattern and uh, all we need to do now is uh, the next two stages these are the diagonals which we have to put in um, and we're on our way to nearly finishing the seat.